52-year-old David Voss had previously pleaded guilty to charges relating to his central role in the fraud ring, which ran out of Thunder Bay from 1996 to 2019. The five-year sentence does not include any restitution for the estimated $100 million the Norvell Morriso estate lost because of the fraud scheme, but estate CEO Corey Dingle says it is fair. I understood the, the trade-off of uh, you know, going for restitution usually equates a smaller sentence um, where if there's nothing there to gather, then I would rather have him spend more time in jail. That does not um, preclude us going through any civil matters with him. The sentence was handed down by Justice Bunny Walkerton in Thunder Bay Superior Court Thursday afternoon. Walkerton told the court this case was more than art fraud. It was a case of cultural appropriation of Canada's most loved artist. The Morisot estate has been pursuing charges against Voss and other fraudsters since the mid-1990s. Dangle says he hopes because of the case, Canada realizes it is time to update its art forgery laws. Because Canada, as a young country, is hundreds of years behind proper legislation and proper policy change, that our European counterparts um, enjoy. And Canada, being a young country, we haven't had the opportunity to enact these types of policy changes. Fraser Needham, AP10 National News, Ottawa.